good evening good evening to everyone worldwide i just want to take on the opportunity to educate some of the english speaking people that we love to know the meaning behind indigenous people that were all over the world especially in haiti haiti north america i know some of you maybe heard about Marie Laveau that one maryland new orleans excuse me that one new orleans that was it was she was a midwife too she was really involved in the church and at the same time working with her spirituality because she was mixed she was mixed from the european race french with an indigenous woman and it she brought that culture to new orleans she also a hairdresser she was a midwife and a hairdresser because of her beauty her father was a frenchman she was able to connect have a big connection with the roman catholic church she was able to do some work well at the same time she wasn't being demonized by the roman catholic and also the community i just want to bring in some light to our indigenous occult like what the modern speaking english call it is the occult because when you come to these mankind anything they don't understand they call it bad that's all they do but myself as an old soul as an ancestor that i don't want to just only speak on behalf of our spirituality only in creole and all language asian speaking language because i know we're gonna have children that one day that's gonna want to know who are the people that flee free the world from slavery that were connected with the spirituality or ancient ancestor and uh, so-called Columbus call it the Tainos the native when he stepped his foot to the island the entire the entire island now you know modern name like Dominican Republic and Haiti and the other side Dominican Republic has no land the entire hill the entire country is belong to the Asian people I don't have to go to it, break it down for you guys. One day I'm going to have to do a video on it to explain to you guys how the Dominican Republic, the half of this race that mix with our ancestor, how they get this land. Because they've been told the children to hate Asian people. They told them we are slaving, we will occupy them, which is lies because we protecting the other side of the land when we find out the Spaniards they were gonna return back to the land even in the modern time now they return one way or another because if you look in the American Republic and you turn one you look in Haiti it's a hot mess the colonizer return back little by little and still they control the entire land finance and natural resources so I just want to explain to the young people or uh, middle age, older age, any age that what is voodoo stand for? I know most Asian people call it voodoo in Africa, Benin, they call it voodoo and um, Sinteria, they all have the uh, voodoo, Kiba, everybody has a different name because remember our ancestor was all over the world when they were kidnapping by the Arab, later on by Roman Catholic, 
and then the European get in the business to to kidnap us, brought us all over the world. We were a genius people. We were a warrior. We were a king. We were a peer. That's what IT is not a republic. IT is an empire land that ruled by shaman, that ruled by and by general and by king. That's why Jean Jacques de Saline was an empire. What I'm saying, the spirituality or ancient ancestor or indigenous ancestor, they and uh, ancient can meet if you see the religious people after they copy all our information, they call us pagans. Pagans mean somebody that don't believe in one entity. Somebody that give honor, respect to everything. Like I'm right here in the night by the water. I'm recording uh, that audio with the energy of the water the plant we are in winter season there is no flowers no plant right now if we was it on winter you will see the, the beautiful green land uh, plant trees while on this water so i'm recording that you just can even you barely can see the water flooding but you hear the sound of the water and some of the duck at the middle of the world, they're resting. If I don't mean what you will call, um, you know, Christians, they give name to everything. It's mankind that give name, this name to this entity. You cannot put spirituality in a box. Spirituality stands for nature slash Vodun stand for nature. You cannot live without nature. We are a part of nature. We are part of the high universal spiritual realm. We don't live here only in that beautiful blue earth called Mother Gaia. We don't, we don't live here alone and not all of our body here on the earth we came here to have experience for our soul to have experience this is a university earth that's the only planet you have free choice our soul we have a group soul that stay in a high realm we have our ancestor that's in the high realm each realm is different some of our ancestors in a really high, high dimension as a creator source. Some of them may be in a low consciousness when, just like we are in 3D dimension here on earth. But Mother Gaia, consciousness, conscious wise, she's in a 5D dimension. And like many of us, like I, like myself, I'm speaking to you guys right now, I'm not in a 3D dimension. The dimension is not a place, it is a stage of conscious. I just want to break down to you that one day when that make you afraid of a cult, you call it a cult, you should be afraid of it because if you don't understand the meaning behind it, you don't want to talk about it if you don't know the meaning behind Vodun. Our ancestors were very connected with nature before so-called Christopher Columbus arrived to that land that he called Hispaniola. Our ancestors very connected to the parents that transitioned before them. They connect with everything that has life. The plant, the tree, water, everything, herb, the fish, the seawater, everything that nature or mother Gaia gave us. Our ancestors created our own medicine. We don't have no man-made hospital like the Western hospital. We don't. Our ancestors, they're the one who give, who help the woman to give birth to their children. They're the one who knows how to prepare that children after birth. And they always give it back to nature, to the sun, after a certain day. I remember after seven days 
in a culture I was very thankful I was blessing I was born as a midwife I was born back home where I was born in Haiti but my last life my past life I was in Europe I was born in Europe so when I said a part of us in this planet we might be reincarnated here in that culture maybe the next life we can we reincarnate in another culture different language and different country we all belong a part of us that belong on the earth that come here to have experience we choose we make the choice we choose which parents are we going to be born to we choose what family is going to be raising us and we also take turn Sometimes we reincarnate as a mother, as a child, as a husband, as a son. We reincarnate that way. So we take turn to raise each other. That's a part of that, uh, how you call that, that playground here on the earth. We don't come here to waste our time. We don't come here to play game. We have a responsibility when our soul chooses to reincarnate back here to have experience to complete our work. Some of us came, we make choices. Some of us choose to waste our time here, either to alcohol, either to junk, either to sell in our body in the street, either to jog, either to whatever lifestyle we choose. Or oh, some of us may choose to come here, wait from our mother womb, we know what we wanna do, we know our plan, what we planning of doing, and we just reincarnate here, and then we get to work, and we complete our work. Some of us come in as a humanitarian, for me, I as the old soul, I return back here to serve humanity because I am born under a master number. So my work is done, but I have to return to help humanity. As you can see the way humanity is going now, mankind still live in a, in a barbaric age. Mankind haven't been learned. They're still killing each other. You see there is war all over the world. You see what's going on in Haiti, what's going on in Africa, what's going on in, in uh, Afghanistan, what's going on in Palestinian, what's going on in Israel. So you see what's going on all over the world in Latin America. So mankind haven't learned. The reason we're still in this war, because when a nation was destroyed by another nation, it's going to be... Uh, some people that been killed by that war going to be go up and they're going to take uh, revenge for what you did to the parents so for what the other race did to the community that's the reason we still see us going on in war the war is never end and we are on the time now that must be stopped so I'm here to bring in light positive energy with Mother Gaia to the world, to the universe, and to all of you guys that already awake, all of you guys that consciousness. Spirituality is the way of life, what we call in our culture Vodun. Spirituality is powerful. Vodun is quantum, is science, is alchemy, is physics, is esoteric is everything that has life you need both energy is yin and yang you cannot live without the feminine and the masculine especially the woman us as women we are the women that carry the magic that carry the wonder we know the patriarchy take over that work from us they want to rule over us. They want to rule the planet. That's what you see more the planet is upside down today. We were supposed to work together as a team. We were supposed to be connected together as a team. And then bring in a better life to this planet. And you heard about the Atlantic that was going under the water. 
all play a role for what mankind did, losing the consciousness when they all behave like a barbaric age in the time of Atlantis. To this day, we still live in as the time of Atlantis. And Mother Gaia has been patient for us, waiting for us, and then we still not going anywhere consciously. But she's no longer going to wait on us anymore. She's going to move on, and I think she move on to do what she's going to do. Some of us gonna still going to be here living in a 3D dimension, and some of us going to move up to 40s, and some of us going to move up to 5, up to unlimited whim. So, um, Voodoo, spiritual slash spirituality, is uh, ebo, is ebolist medicine, ebo, herb medicine, uh, or ancestor, we never have to, or uh, uh, mom or parents or community, we have the midwife, we have the shaman for the spiritual work, we have the community, and then our children was give birth at home, even the, uh, the unbiblical, unbiblical cord, like the womb where the child was. We make sure that being set up in a special way under a planting tree or a tree that's gonna give fruit. A midwife will bury, will give, will give that to the father to bury that under the ground, under earth, give back to earth. And then you will see that plant, if it's a planting tree, or if it's a, a avocado tree, any tree that's gonna give fruit in that child, that tree, hair, or his unbelievable cord going to be buried on the ground. And here, what do we, that's what we call the placenta. And here I find out now, the United States and the hospital, they use it for their own medicine, for their own need, but the mother don't know the secret behind the placenta after you give birth to your children. You are sent back home. The midwife not going to cut off the baby cord wall away because you're still connecting with your mom and the spiritual womb. Plus, your soul must be entering into that baby, the baby soul, the, the, the angel, whatever you call it, the spirit womb that's going to be, uh, that's going to be on the earth with that child. It's supposed to be entering into that child before she was before they cut the 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 uh, unbiblical cord from the mother with the child okay for some of you that understand what the uh, christian the woman catholic i mean the people that understand the christian calling the occult that call secret okay that call secret that call uh, uh, unknown because it's Nature is so powerful. Nature is for magic. You will not understand nature if you not connect with nature. And by the way, if you don't love yourself, you cannot connect with nature. You cannot love other people. If you have no soul, you will not like other people. You will like to see people suffering. You will like to see people living in a misery life. These are the people that has no soul. But those that has soul, those that love one another, you're gonna see, you wanna see everybody live a comfortable life in this earth. Doesn't matter the race, the background, the language, what country they were from. Okay? For example, in the United States, they call all spirituality, they call it uh, bad. I mean, they give it all kind of name. But if you go in a museum of Chicago, all of artifacts, all of our ancestor artifacts, you're gonna find them in the national exhibit you're gonna find them in the in the high secret library keep it secret from our ancestor from our children and we do have a spiritual uh, secret uh, occult that we call bisango if you go to the museum of chicago uh, all of our secret um, esoteric secret service for our ancestor that military force they all hiding in the, in the library of in the museum library of Chicago, including our flag, our Asian flag, it is esoteric, it is black and black and red. Our flag you see in Haiti right now, it has nothing to do with our flag, 
this is a commercial European flag. They destroy your flag, just like they destroy our military force. That was in 1915. I mean, that was a create called an army indigen that was destroyed by uh, a European, by United States. Okay? When I say European, I say it's French, it's Canada, it's Spain, it's England, it's all of them. They, they go ahead, they create their own flag, they create their own constitution to control the people that end the land. Because remember, less than two years, our ancestors that give us freedom, the empire Jean-Jacques de Salines, he was murdered by a group of people that want to control the land because everybody seeking to be in charge. They wasn't happy to see him after he's become a general and an empire and in a powerful dismen war. And then to defeat the, the, to defeat the army of Napoleon, him with his ancestor, with his general, other general, the woman, play a big role in that war. And we win that war with uh, every other powerful military in that time in the 15th century, 17th century. You know about Napoleon Bonaparte in the United States and Britain and Poland, all of them in Spain. We beat the hell out of them. They never forgive us for that. That's what you see Haiti in the bottom of the pit today.